The balance of the Force has been shaken. The Clone Wars have begun. Target that speeder! Hey guys and welcome back to Battle Run Updates and a very exciting video because the Battle of Geonosis trailer was just released after it got semi-leaked and I think they realized that they couldn't keep a lid on the leak so they decided to release it today instead of next week and holy shit this trailer was worth the wait. Such an absolutely phenomenal trailer with everything from the music where they've mixed together both prequel and sequel era music to create some magical mix that just just hits straight in the feels and absolutely phenomenal trailer that i really think you should watch from start to finish yourself in full quality at the ea star wars channel but i wanted to give you guys as much of a breakdown as i possibly can i've rewatched it i'm sure 10 times now at least i'm trying to find details and mostly just enjoying the trailer which also meant that it was hard to look in the background and pause it and kind of ruin the feeling just to find these small details but i think i found some things that might not be super obvious if you only watched it once or twice or even three times so i wanted to go through all the details that i thought was interesting and um, so let's dive straight into it in the first scene we of course see some geonosians flying around as well as tons of attes and laats and that's something we see throughout the entire trailer that there's multiple attes five six even uh, at the same time so it seems like it's not just gonna be one or two but we're talking a lot of them at the same time and then we get another look at Obi-Wan and he sounds and looks absolutely amazing. I think he looks spot on as Ewan McGregor as accurately as I could ever have imagined to see in a game um, and a lot better than the promo shots if I'm gonna be completely honest and very, so very cool to see that and in the background here a lot of people have noted that you see this clone doing this movement coupled with this shot later in the trailer that kind of makes it seem like we could be getting armored officers. The thing is you kind of do that animation um, uh, while you get buffed by an officer as well so it could just be an assault because it does look an, like an assault weapon i think however when ben was asked out on uh, reddit if there was going to be armored officers he did just respond with awkward eye movement so uh, very interesting to say the least and one thing is for sure we don't see any unarmored officers in this trailer so if you are lucky we might actually be getting armored officers on Geonosis and the question is if it's gonna be something you unlock as a skin or if it's kind of a default on that specific map um, well we don't know yet and obviously you see all of these 212 skins in the background as well as the the officer slash assault that I just talked about as they will be arriving together with Obi-Wan and now we actually get to see Obi-Wan in action uh, using his all-out push ability and showing that it can be effective uh, instantly as well you don't need to charge it up and also we can see a dark droid officer skin. I don't know if this is going to be the first droid skin we can unlock or if this is just going to be like the uh, default on Genosis where they will have that kind of darker color on the officers. A bit like the heaviest look, I would say. Um, but I, I thought it was worth bringing up nevertheless. And then we move on to a scene where we get to see the bark speeders and staps flying around on Genosis, around all the ATTEs, hard cell ships and so on. And we can also see an AAT here. So we didn't know that was going to be on this planet before, but it's definitely expected that, that the droids were going to have some type of counter for the ATTE that you can actually play as, not just the spider droids in the background. And also, another thing worth noting is that I don't see any Wookiees, so that's obviously good. And after that, you move over to this kind of uh, section in the middle where they show off old stuff from the game, which makes it seem like this is kind of like a revival trailer. They want to bring in some new people who might not have seen the stuff that we already have seen thousands of times you know and i also wanted to bring up the background clones here that some people have said it's a bit blurry i don't know if, the, if it's the quality i've downloaded of the trailer but to me it kind of looks like it's dirty clones so i don't think i don't think that's a particular legion but i think that's basically how they get covered by mud and sand after they've been on the planet for a while i could be wrong though um, but I, that's what it looks to me like. But yeah, I'm sure that will be clarified soon enough. And then we have something very interesting in the background of the second part of Geonosis. A baton that the clone hits the droid with. This is something that I actually don't know if it's a star card. Is it a new weapon? Is it a new class? We can only guess. My guess is for the, that it's some type of star card. Because obviously you can see it's in the game and in two of these scenes 
you can see the clone actually used the baton to smack down a droid. So that was really unexpected and I'm curious to see uh, what that's actually going to be. And then we have the final clash between Obi-Wan and Grievous and we get to see Grievous new appearance called Shattered. An absolutely amazing skin that I did not expect. It kind of looks like something out of Terminator almost. And based on this tweet from Dennis, it actually seems to be a legendary skin, which means it will probably be 80,000 credits. But it does say that the VFX work on it was legendary, which means that if it is a legendary skin, there should be new voice lines or new voice. So I'm really curious how Grievous will sound. Will he have a different voice or just different voice lines? Very interesting nevertheless because this is the first time we see this appearance in a canon game or any type of canon media for Grievous, um, which I think is really cool. And Ben also confirmed that a part of his cape will actually still be on him with this skin. Because I can understand that he can't make the full-blown cape because how would that work with like something like Claw Rush? It just wouldn't. But a part of the cape will apparently still be on him. So maybe you'll see it kind of like uh, flying in the wind when he's running around or something like that and half burned or similarly. But yeah, those are all the things I spotted. I'm sure there's going to be more stuff found over the next couple of hours and days. But I think I hopefully caught the... Uh, important stuff and I'd love to hear what you guys thought about the trailer and if you found anything that I missed and if that is a clone officer or not. Thank you very much for watching and as always may the force be with you.